I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I cannot be defeated and I will not quit. Welcome to Rama Praise, a worldwide broadcast bringing hope, help, and healing for over 25 years from Kenneth Hagen Ministries and Rama Bible Church in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. And now, here are your hosts, Pastors Kenneth and Lynette Hagen. We're so glad to be with you today with Rama Praise, and it's a great day. That's right. And you know, you're talking about today. Today. Today is your time to receive. Yeah, yeah today is the time to have God move in your life. You know, today honey, is the day of deliverance. That's right. You know, I was thinking about the fact that I, I, I think honestly, there's a song like this and it says, don't put off tomorrow what you can do today. Today. And so many times we do put off tomorrow what we yeah. can do today. But today is the, is the time to receive, uh, yes. you know, from God, it's a, today's the time to change your thinking. That's right. Today is the day to embrace the new possibilities. That's right. Uh, today is the day to remember your past is gone. Yes. It doesn't exist. That's right. Because when you become a new per person in Christ by receiving Christ as your Savior. Yes. It, the Bible says all things have gone away and all things have become, become new. new. That's right. And today is the day yes. that Jesus made for you to receive him and receive all of his blessings. So let's go where I'm talking about this is today. Today is your time to receive. You know, Sometimes we wake up in the morning time and knowing that this is the day we've been waiting for. Now, sometimes it's, uh, it's not, uh, we were going to receive negative stuff, but sometimes it's positive. You know, I, I think this is the situation that the children of Israel are in, were in. They woke up one morning and they were excited because they were leaving Egypt. And the next thing you know, they had a negative situation where the Red Sea was facing them. And uh, they began to cry out to Moses because it looked like there was no way out. But Moses stood up and began to talk to them in Exodus 14, 13. And Moses said to the people, do not be afraid. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall see again no more forever. The Lord will fight for you. Hold your peace. In other words, stand down. In, Exodus, in that same passage in the NLT, but Moses told the people, don't be afraid. Just stand still and watch the Lord rescue you today. The Egyptians you see today, you'll never see again. The Lord himself will fight for you. Just stay calm. I want you to notice Moses said today. Everybody say today. today. You know, he didn't say after a while or someday. He said, today, because that was when they needed it, was today. Not tomorrow, not someday, not next week, not next year. They needed it now. Of course, the rest of the story, we know the story. That day, God split the Red Sea. That day, the Egyptians tried to do the same thing, and they drowned in the, in the Red Sea. That day, the word from the Lord that Moses had given came to pass for them. You know, sometimes we need to wake up to the fact today is the day God wants to move in your life. You know, sometimes it looks like we were, we're facing impossible situations just the same as the Israelites there. Sometimes we're in our midnight hour like Paul and Silas in the jail. But we got to remember today is the day 
of deliverance. I'm here to tell you that today is the day to receive. Change your thinking and embrace the possibilities of today. You know, we have today because of what Jesus did on the cross to bring redemption for us after Adam had sold the human race out in the Garden of Eden. And I don't have time to preach on that. I've done it before. You've heard it probably. And then when that happened, God gave a promise in Genesis 3, 15. And I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head and he, and you, he, he shall bruise your head and you will bruise his heel. Now he's talking to the devil, the Satan himself that caused the sin in the Garden of Eden. Here we have a promise for all of Adam's descendants. The seed of woman was Christ. And someday he would win the victory back that Adam lost. Time passed. Years passed. Decades passed. Or decades, however you want to say it. When I was growing up, it was decades. Now they say, I think they say decades. You know, isn't it funny how everything, how everything changes and they change stuff, you know, from shipping department to the uh, distribution center. <laughs> but in Galatians 4, 4, it says, in the fullness of time, at the right time, he arrived. In one day, he appeared. In one day, he fixed the problem. In one day, he obtained righteousness for everybody. In one day, he restored our fellowship with God. In one day, he obtained access to God for us. Remember, Adam walked and talked with God in the natural. We have attained access to God through our spirits. In one day, he removed shame, guilt, and condemnation. What Jesus did in, on that one day, we base our whole Christian life on. Today, we live in the light of what Jesus did and on Calvary. Today, all the promises of God are available to us. Today, all the redemptive realities and benefits of who we are in Christ is for us. Today, angels are camped about us to protect us. Today, Jesus is ever interceding, sitting at the right hand of the Father. Today, there are great possibilities because of what Jesus did on that cross. We have to change our thinking from someday to today. Some people say they believe God will do something for them sometime when he gets ready. They don't believe they can receive today. They don't understand the time frame. They don't understand today is the day that he's promised you help and deliverance. Because of the way they think, they believe that way. Their prayers go unanswered, and they don't receive what they need to from God today because they're not looking for today. They're looking for someday. Sometimes people are filled with regret and guilt and shame, and they don't believe that today could ever happen for them. But Jesus went to the cross so today could happen for you. Jesus arose from the grave so today could become a reality in your life. Joel Osteen said this one time, let go of yesterday, let today be a new beginning and be the best that you can 
and you'll get to where God wants you to be. We have to realize today is the day that God wants to, us to receive all the benefits and we have to forget the past because the enemy tries to use it to hinder you so you don't live in today. Actually, that doesn't exist anymore. Once you become a new person in Christ Jesus, all of that is done away with. It doesn't exist. We need to understand the value of today. 2 Corinthians 6, 2. For he says, in an acceptable time, I heard you. In the day, in the day of salvation, I helped you. Behold, now is the accepted time, and now is the day of salvation. The, new, the NLT says it like this. At just the right time, I heard you. On the day of salvation, I helped you. Indeed, the right time is now. Today is the day of salvation. Now, that word salvation can mean salvation, being born again, but it also can mean salvation from any other thing that is trying to entangle you and entrap you. On that day, when he arose from the dead, that was the day that brought us to today. We got to keep our minds on the fact that it's all, with God, it's always today. Not tomorrow, not next week, today. Today, today. That day, Jesus arose triumphant. In one day, so long ago, he went to the cross so that today God's blessings could be yours. You know, have you ever seen somebody that put something off till tomorrow? Or they said, oh, someday I'll take care of that. Hello, anybody ever heard anybody do that? If we're honest, we probably all have done that. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, People say, oh, someday I'm going to get it. You know, that, that's the mind of all these people that spend a lot of their hard-earned money on, a, on the lottery. Uh, someday I'm going to win big. If you want to win, win big, give that money to God and you'll, you'll always win. Oh, I didn't get as many amens on that, did I? <laughs> Some people, I've heard people say, well, someday I'm going to receive the Holy Spirit. One of these days, someday I believe God's going to heal me. The truth is, someday never comes. Instead of giving us someday, God gave us today. Look at your neighbor and say, today. today. You know, someday is fleeting. It's out of reach. But today is right in our hand. Come on now. Stop longing for someday and start living in today. Now, some of you know who Jerry Rice was. Jerry Rice was a great wide receiver for the San Francisco 49ers. He's in the Hall of Fame. He said this, and I like it. Today, I will do what others want, so tomorrow I can accomplish what others can't. That is a great statement. Come on now. Today I will do what others want so tomorrow I can accomplish what others can't. You know, I'm, I was 
in Kennedyville Bible Academy running, running track. But I would stay out and run extra laps after everybody else went in. And it paid off. Because, see, we've got to get a hold, do today what we're supposed to do today so we can accomplish what we need to accomplish tomorrow. You know, today is significant. And I want to read from Ecclesiastes 3 1. To everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven. God has a plan and a purpose for you today. Today has value. I want to read this. I, I like it. Today has value for us. It is a time frame in which God will perform his word to those who believe and declare. I, want, I read it because I want to make sure I got all those words in because I like it. <laughs> today has value. Say it. Today has value. Because that's the time frame in which God is going to perform his word in your life. Not tomorrow, today. Today ha is full of possibilities. Tomorrow is hoping. Today is receiving. Today is the day to receive. Today is the day to get a hold of what God has for you. Through what Jesus did on the cross. Today we have salvation. Today we have healing. Today we have deliverance. Today is our is our time to break through. Today is the day of protect, protection. Today is the day of safety. Today is the day of provision. Today is the day to receive everything that God said was ours. Today. Today. If you got a Bible or you got your device with your Bible on, hold it up. Say this. Today, today is the day today. that all, all of these promises, these promises from God, from God come, to come to pass in my life. In my life. Today, today, not tomorrow, not, tomorrow. not next week. Not week. Today, today. today. Today, Today is the day of victory. Day. Have you ever met somebody that they're always thinking about tomorrow and talking about tomorrow? But they're not living tomorrow, they're living today. So you need to be talking about today. Tomorrow will take care of itself if you live today in the promises of God, you will be in the promises of God tomorrow. Renew your thinking from someday to today. Today is when we have the great possibilities. Today is the day that you never look back again at anything behind you. Why am I saying that? Because I find so many people, they're always talking about the past. 
I'm not talking about the sinful past. I'm talking about meetings. Oh, wasn't, man, can you remember Winter Bible Seminar back in such and such time? Yeah, that's great. But that's behind you. That's 1980. That's people talking about, you know, 2004, 2000, I mean, 2003, 2002. Oh, when Brother Hagin was alive. Let me tell you what, Brother Hagin's still alive. Right here he is. And my dad was great, and I loved my dad very much. But let me tell you what. That was his day. This is our day today. This is the time that we push in. This is the time that we reach out and grab a hold of what God's got for us today. Today is the day for you to receive salvation are to receive Jesus Christ into your heart. The Word of God says, today is the day of salvation. So today is your time to rededicate your life to God if you know what it is and you've just sort of got off course, you need to rededicate, or if you've never accepted Christ as your personal Savior, it's very easy, very, very easy. All you have to do is to repeat this prayer after me with Miss Lynette. So let us pray now. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for Jesus. You said in your word. You said in your word. That if I would believe in my heart. That if I would believe in my heart. That Jesus rose from the dead. That Jesus rose from the dead. And died for my sin. And died for my sin. That I would be saved. That I would be saved. I believe in my heart. I believe in my heart. And I thank you now. And I thank you now. As I've confessed with my mouth. As I've confessed with my mouth. That I'm a new person in Christ Jesus. That I am a new person in Christ and Jesus. And today has become my day. And today has become my day. Of salvation. Of salvation. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hey, if you prayed that prayer with us, go to testimonies at rhema.org and let us know all <laughs> about it. We want to know about it and we want to get in contact with you. Well, honey, our special offer this month is my book, It's Your Time, Time to Shine. shine. Uh, two CDs by your dad, Hold Fast to the Word of God. Yes. Hold Fast to the Word, and two CDs by you, Our Rights in, in Christ. Christ. Yes, and that is for a gift of $25 or more. more. Yes. Yeah. Go right now to the computer or your device and rhema.org and order it. It goes right to the shipping department yes. and it comes right and gets right sent out right to you and it'll be coming right for you. Or if you know somebody that you think could benefit from this, this is a great time to get them this and give it to them. That's right. Well, coming up real soon next week, yeah. that's April 28th through the 30th, we are going to be in Puyallup, Washington. Uh, that is Experience Church, Pastors Dennis and Lori Cummins. And then we're going over to where? We're going over to Hillsboro, Oregon. That's right. For the for our Living Faith Conference yes. at uh, New Creation Church, Pastors Rod and Rebecca Sunholm. That's Wednesday. Thursday, and Friday, Friday that's May right. 1, 2, and 3. Yes. So come on out there and be with us. Coming up Sunday, May the 5th, I'm so excited about this day. Yes. International Rhema Day. You know, it's a time for um, for people to, to pray uh, for Rhema, uh, for our school, for the staff, the students, and a time to give. That everybody can get involved yes. with an offering, whatever you can afford to send, individually, as the church, as a business, uh, whatever you can afford to send, 
you, you send it to us and it helps us. We got 290 Bible schools all over the world. Yes. It helps us here at, <clears throat> at the mother school right here. It helps us to be able to, to train the students and keep the tuition low. You can go to rhema.org slash IRD and sign up right now. Yes. And it's going to be, when it all comes in from all over the world, when it comes, it makes a great impact for the kingdom of God. And honey, you know, so many times we really do not say a whole lot about our schools and no. the, uh, the influence that, that it is having. I want you to give the testimony about in Haiti, uh, the, the person that went to the Haiti school and then went back to their village. Okay. You've got to tell that testimony. Well, there in Haiti, they started, in, several years ago now. Yes. We did the graduation. Actually in 2015 we did the first graduation. First graduation. Mm -hmm. 170 students I believe it was. Mm -hmm. Well these were all ministers of all kinds of denomination churches that had never had any Bible school training. And so they went and, and they do it a little different because the people couldn't, couldn't come so they did it on a weekend. They do a Friday night and all day Saturday and get one subject in. Yes. So they taught Christ the healer. This man went back to his church. He got up on Sunday morning and he said, I found out something that I didn't even know was in the Bible. He taught about healing and they had a fantastic healing church service in that church. Yes. And it wasn't even a charismatic church at all. I don't know, it's some kind of some denom some kind of denomination. Yes. But it that is just one testimony. Yes. Out of thousands that we could give. And that's what International Rhema Day helps. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, we want to thank you for helping us to bring hope, hope help, help and, and healing. healing to, to the, the world. world. Hold fast. The devil try to get his best to keep you from holding fast. Why, why is he telling that? Because there's an enemy arrayed against him going to try to take it away from him. Hold on to it. Hold tight. Hold hard. Amen. Hold with all your strength. Hold fast. Hold fast to the word. Two timeless classic CDs by Kenneth E. Hagan and a slimline book by Lynette Hagan. It's your time to shine. I know what my rights are in Christ Jesus, and there's not anybody going to take them away from me. Our Rights in Christ, two anointed CDs by Kenneth W. Hagan. The book and all four CDs can be yours today for a gift of only $25 or more by calling toll-free 1-888-PRAISE-8 or log on anytime, day or night, to order at rhema.org. For Canadian orders, log on at rhemacanada.org. Do it today. Thank you for watching Rama Praise with Kenneth and Lynette Hagan. Kenneth, Lynette, and Rama Bible Training College are committed to reaching the entire world with the gospel of Jesus Christ and training laborers for the end time harvest. If you have prayer requests or would like more information about Rama, please call, write, or visit rama.org. Thank you for being with us today and for your faithful support. And remember, there is hope help and healing for a hurting world.